Hi students, welcome to Year 12 Chemistry and the Equilibrium and Acid Reactions module. This is module 5 and it's video number 3 in this series on enthalpy, entropy and combustion. So I guess the first thing we need to do is to realise that firstly now we're setting our um, studies of chemistry in the context of equilibrium reactions that not everything is an equilibrium reaction we kind of already know that and there's a couple of reasons for that uh, and also I guess we want to slightly change our terminology just a little to start to incorporate this term of non-equilibrium systems so systems which will not reach equilibrium no matter what we do um, one such system is combustion if we think about combustion, uh, one of the important things about combustion reactions is they're exothermic. The whole point with a combustion reaction is you want to produce energy. And there is also an increase in the entropy of the system as a result of these reactions. The general equation for a um, combustion reaction is some fuel source uh, plus oxygen gives us carbon dioxide and water and you'll notice now that we're going to start to change the types of arrows that we use based on whether we are looking at a non-equilibrium system or an equilibrium system and because combustion is a non-equilibrium system we don't use the double-sided arrow we just use a single-sided arrow the interesting thing about this is whether we're talking about methane as a fuel source that we might get from our Bunsen burners or octane which we might use to burn um, for our cars or perhaps even ethanol which may also be um, contained within the petrol that we use in our cars uh, all of these fuels if provided with sufficient oxygen will produce carbon dioxide and water now the proportions of these will differ but the actual substances are identical. So how would we know from a certain amount of carbon dioxide and water which way they would go if they were to reverse? Which fuel would they reform? Well, the obvious answer and the reason that I've mentioned this is they don't. They don't form any of, reform any of these fuel sources. Coal burns in the same way. Any of the hydrocarbons that are part of this series and also uh, much longer chain ones will all burn the same way, produce the same products. So looking at the products and trying to figure out what reactants might be in an equilibrium system uh, is obviously problematic when we're talking about combustion. So is there a way we can incorporate our understanding of enthalpy, entropy and Gibbs free energy in order to analyze these systems? Well, I've given you a little bit of data here. Uh, something that you might want to do if you want to pause the video and just do this calculation yourself, um, just to satisfy yourself of where I'm going, uh, that'll give us a bit of an idea. But let's look at our uh, values that we have. Let me just simplify them at the moment. Delta G is equal to um, delta H minus T delta S. Okay, we've got some values um, here in this equation. So we can substitute these in. The first thing we notice is the delta H value um, for the combustion of octane, and I'm looking at the um, octane here. So C8H18, uh, and you can write that equation if you would like to. Um, I'm just going to put these values in. So minus 5114 kilojoules. Remember when we're doing our calculations, we need to make sure that we double check the units, kilojoules, minus T. T is 100 degrees, which again, I need to convert into uh, Kelvin, 373 times, and the delta S value is in joules. So in order to keep consistent, change it to kilojoules, it becomes 0.384. Notice too that this value, this positive value, an increase in entropy, this negative value, an exothermic reaction what we're going to end up here is with an even bigger negative value in fact the value is minus five two five seven five two five seven uh, kilojoules per mole uh, for our delta G this is a negative value which means it's a spontaneous reaction at re, oops, reaction at 100 degrees uh, and it's also a very big value, so it's a, a very spontaneous reaction, if you like. Um, so 
this is a reaction which releases a lot of energy which increases the kinetic uh, which increases the entropy of the system the degree of disorder of the system it's producing at this temperature uh, particles of or gas molecules for both water and carbon dioxide whoops that will be gas at that temperature um, and that's increasing the entropy of the system and the delta uh, G the Gibbs free energy value is very high as well this is one way that we can analyze systems that are non-equilibrium systems in order to determine what's going on in each of these systems. You will carry out a uh, combustion reaction again just to, I guess, reinforce in the classroom um, this idea of uh, the difference between equations, uh, reactions that uh, go to completion and equilibria. And we'll have a look at another type in the next video. Thanks for watching.